US government recently announced a huge breakthrough in industrial digitalization, unveiling a state-of-the-art network designed to transform rail transport. This network integrates cutting-edge technologies such as IoT, AI, predictive analytics, and digital twin modeling all over 5G and cloud infrastructure. It's cool, right? Yeah, there's a bit of a catch. This network isn't actually set to roll out in the US. Instead, it forms part of the Libito Trans-Africa Corridor Project, which will initially connect Angola to the Democratic Republic of the Congo, or DRC. As a result, Angolans and Congolese will soon experience a far more advanced, digitally enhanced rail network than anything being developed for American citizens. The Libito Corridor Project is a collaborative effort involving the G7 nations, with the US leading the charge. So far, the US has committed half a billion dollars in loans, but this is not a case of altruism. It's rooted in global politics, power dynamics, and the interests of big tech. The railway backbone of the Libito Corridor ends in the DRC, which boasts 70% of the world's cobalt supply, a critical component for electric vehicles, and a host of other minerals essential to leading tech companies, including tantalum and copper. Now, while these resources are often obtained under exploitative labor conditions, that concern seems completely secondary to the US and its partners, who are primarily focused on securing vital big tech supply chains and countering China's increasing influence in Africa. Well, it's likely too late for that. China's Belt and Road Initiative has been underway for over a decade, establishing Huawei and ZTE as dominant incumbent players in digital communications across sub-Saharan nations. The Libito Corridor illustrates that the US government can indeed devise and implement a sophisticated digital industrial strategy, just not within its own borders, where it's hindered by political gridlock and resistance from traditional industries. All the while, a digital divide is forming globally between nations embracing Industry 4.0 and those lagging behind, with the US finding itself on the wrong side of this growing gap.